We're going to take a detailed look at a modern day Ali Heck. But not just one Ali Heck. in this video, there's three. So, Ali Heck. I've seen several variations of Ali Mac. From the weird, weird passenger lifts, which really do not work well at all and are really bad. From the classic building site lifts, I've seen modern day Ali Heck copycat lifts with interesting controls and displays in them. But I've never seen the modern day official Ali Heck. So that is what we're going to be taking a look at in this video. So this building site's big site, amazing no security and it's got three Ali Hex to take a look at two regular ones and one big goods one which actually has two tracks and there's a really high capacity let's start off with the regular ones these go one meter a second which is a really good speed for a climbing lift because Ali Hex are climbing lifts they've got motors on top lift driving lift up a rack and pinion and this lift is very interesting it's got a bus on the outside to call the lift but it doesn't actually call them despite it's being a modern day lift it runs on a lift attendant system where pressing a button lights up on a display inside a lift that the lift attendant should take the lift to serve your call. So it's so weird that it's like working on like a 1900 style system in vote is a modern day lift. Inside lift, there is a keypad. To make the lift move, you enter in your floor on the keypad and press enter. Floor zero is a basement. Floor one is lower ground. Two is ground. Three is the first floor. And after that, every floor is offset by two. So that's quite interesting how the numbers correspond to the actual floor you're going to. Also, you can press the up and down button to send the lift either to the top floor or the bottom floor. And the lift will just move automatically and level at the floor. So let's start this video off by taking a ride in it. Now, so I press the six button to take the lift to floor four, but then I press the up button rather than the enter button. So rather than going to the fourth floor, the lift goes all the way up to the tenth floor. Two, enter. So, two. What? Wait. It's a yeah. Two is ground. So two. So two and enter. <laughs> Now, let's surf this epic lift. And surfing these building site lifts is an amazing experience.
And now, along we go to the massive goods lift, which is suspended from two Alimat Heck tracks. Interestingly, they have to keep the motors in sync on the rack and pinions of the two separate tracks. So this is a very interesting lift, and this one is manually controlled. There is a button on it to auto level the lift at a floor, but this button didn't work. So unless you literally move a lever to send the lift from stop to slow speed and fast speed. So this is a very old fashioned system. Again, this lift is intended to have a lift attendant, meaning you have to have employed three separate for people on this building site just to operate the lifts. Surely that is expensive for them. Anyway, let's ride this epic lift. And let's open up the control panel and take a look what's behind it. To finish off this video, of course, it is one thing we have to do on a building site, which is of course to climb the crane. There are three cranes here. The only crane that was not secure was this crane, which is sadly the smallest one on the site, but still very interesting. We climbed all the way up to the top of the crane to find the cab was locked, which is very disappointing. Anyway, let's take a look at this crane and some views of the surrounding area. <laughs> 